Hello, good evening. Australia's long-standing Prime Minister and one of George Bush's closest allies has conceded defeat in the country's general election. John Howard's Conservative coalition lost to the Labour Party, led by Kevin Rudd. Mr Howard was bidding for a fifth term in office, but it's thought one of the issues that turned voters away was his support for the Iraq war. His own seat in Parliament remains in doubt. With just over three quarters of the votes counted, John Howard's coalition is expected to win 62 of the 150 seats in the Parliament. Kevin Rudd's party is on course for 86 seats, 10 more than needed to win. From Sydney, here's our correspondent, Nick Bryant. Australia will now be governed by a self-confessed nerd, Labour leader Kevin Rudd, who's done in 07 what Tony Blair did in 97, brought to an end an era of conservative government by promising risk-free change. Today, the Australian people have decided that we as a nation will move forward. And together, as Australians, to unite and write a new page in our nation's history. Australian voters rarely sack their governments, especially when the economy is booming. But there was a growing feeling that John Howard was getting past it. This hotel in Sydney had been the venue for four consecutive victory speeches, but he never got to deliver a fifth. He even faces defeat in the parliamentary seat he's represented for 33 years. An embarrassing double whammy. This is a great democracy, and I want to wish Mr Rudd well. He assumes the mantle of the 26th Prime Minister of Australia. And I want to say there is no prouder job in the world than anybody can occupy than being the Prime Minister of this country. <laughs> John Howard has completely dominated Australian politics for more than a decade. Now the era which already bears his name has come to an end. 68 years old, John Howard was Prime Minister for 11 years and will be remembered for his economic stewardship. He also helped Australia punch above its weight in the global arena, but his staunch support for the Bush administration over climate change in Iraq cost him dear. Kevin Rudd is 50 years old and promises an education revolution. A former diplomat, he'll ratify Kyoto and withdraw Australian combat troops from Iraq. Republicanism could also be back on the agenda. The incoming Prime Minister is determined to signal a definitive break with the past. We can talk to Nick, who's in Sydney now. And uh, did Kevin Rudd win this election or did John Howard simply lose it? Simon, a bit of both. Anti-Howard sentiment has been rising in this country for some time. His relationship with the Bush administration, Iraq, climate change, some very controversial new workplace laws. The problem for Labour is they never had a leader who could harness that mood of discontentment. And when Kevin Rudd became the leader last year, he started to sound and look like a plausible prime minister. And he managed to successfully argue that it wasn't only time to change government, but that it was safe to change government. You mentioned Rudd's a Republican. How will this change Australia's relationship with the monarchy? Well, it hasn't featured at all in this campaign. It's certainly not an urgent priority for Kevin Rudd, but he is a committed Republican. He does view the fact that the Queen's face still adorns Australian banknotes as something of a historical anachronism. And as I say, although it's not a high priority, I think he will revisit the Republican question at some stage in his prime ministership by putting it to the Australian people in a referendum. Nick Bryant, thank you.